Sekretaris Jenderal NATO Jens Stoltenberg menegaskan kembali dukungan aliansi untuk Ukraina pada Selasa 28 Februari 2023 dan mendesak ratifikasi cepat aksesi Swedia dan Finlandia ke NATO. Okay, first also want NATO allies uh, and also partners as Finland and uh, and Sweden do and also the European Union and many others uh, is that we are providing unprecedented level of military support to uh, to Ukraine. Uh, uh, we are not party to the conflict, uh, but uh, we need to remember what this is. This is a war of aggression uh, launched by President Putin against uh, Ukraine. Uh, they have the right to defend themselves. That is right, which is enshrined in the UN Charter. And we have the right to help uh, support uh, Ukraine in upholding the right of self-defense. Uh, then, of course, NATO also has another task, and that is to prevent escalation. Uh, this from becoming a full-fledged war between between uh, uh, Russia and, uh, and NATO and therefore we have also increased our military presence uh, in the eastern part of the alliance uh, also in the Baltic region uh, to send a clear message that an attack on a NATO ally will trigger a response from the whole uh, alliance. Perdana Menteri Finlandia Sana Marin mengatakan bahwa penundaan dalam ratifikasi akses Swedia dan Finlandia Kealiasi di Parlemen Nasional Turki dan Hongaria menekan kebijakan pintu terbuka NATO. Stoltenberg mengunjungi Finlandia bertemu dengan Marin, Presiden Sauli Ninisto, dan Menteri Luar Negeri PK Havisto. Sekretaris Jenderal NATO juga akan berpartisipasi dalam Samak Nordic Summit di Helsinki.